Create striped journaling on your next digital project. It's a great way to showcase your journaling on a striped background paper. Here is a preview of what we will be creating together. I will be showing you how to create striped journaling on striped paper. Before we begin, let's talk about how to choose a good striped paper. Papers with high contrasting dark and light horizontal stripes are the best choice. Papers that have multicolored stripes will not work for this technique. And if the paper doesn't have uniform stripes, it's not a good choice either. Thin stripes will make reading your journaling difficult, so make sure the stripes are thick enough for at least two lines of journaling per stripe. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop except for noted. Begin by creating a new 12 by 12 inch document at 300 pixels per inch with a white background like I've done here. Then open the paper DST striped journaling.jpg file from the downloads. Next, get the move tool. Then on the document, hold down the shift key and click and drag the paper onto the new document. Holding down the shift key while adding something to a document ensures that the item will land in the center of the document. Then get the horizontal type tool and in the tool options, open the font picker and choose an easy to read journaling font. I'm using Archon, which you can find for free at Font Squirrel. Set the size to 14 points, the letting to 18 points, the tracking to zero, then click on the left align icon, click on the color chip to open the color picker and choose a medium gray color. We are choosing a medium gray color so that we can see the type on both colors of stripes. In the center of the document, click and drag out a rectangular text box that is at least three stripes tall, starting at the top of a black stripe. Then type your journaling. I'm journaling about tulips. Then click the check mark to commit the type. Depending on the stripe paper you are using, the letting value may need to be adjusted. You do not want a line of journaling to fall along the border of two stripes. Let me show you how to fix that. In the Layers panel, double-click on the thumbnail of the type layer to highlight all the type. Then in the Tool Options, change the letting to 19 points. If that's still not enough letting, change the letting one point at a time. If you need less letting between lines, decrease the letting one point at a time. Photoshop users will find the letting in the Character panel. Click the check mark to commit the change. Our letting looks great, so I'm not going to make any changes. Now we're going to change the journaling color. In the Layers panel, hold down the Alt key in Windows, that's the Option key on a Mac, and click and drag a copy of the striped paper layer above the type layer. In the menu bar, choose Layer, Create Clipping Mask. Then get the Move tool, and on the document, use the up or down arrow keys to nudge the paper until all the journaling magically appears. In the Layers panel, the top striped paper layer should be active. Hold down the Shift key and click on the Type layer. Now both layers should be active. Click on the Create a New Group icon, then double-click directly on the name of the group and rename it Journaling. Press Enter Return to commit the change. By grouping the striped paper in Journaling, you can move the journaling around on your page. Now you can finish your page as desired. Once you are finished, you will want to crop the document. This will delete pixels that are outside the boundaries of your page and will reduce the file size. You can find complete instructions for cropping your document in the manual. To preserve the layers for later use, save the document as a PSD file with a unique name. To create a flattened image, save the document as a JPEG file with a unique name. Here is my finished page. I chose to right align my journaling and move it to the right side of the page. I love how the journaling mimics the stripes of the background paper, adding interest. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.